Hey, and welcome to this video for Mesh Moon Rocket. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features that Mesh Moon's offering. So we have this section here called Lunar World, and here we can use some of the new building tools on Mesh Moon. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Lunar World and show you how it works. We can go ahead and click on Login to Lunar World. Now when you log into Lunar World for the first time, they're going to give you a short tutorial to show you some of the basics uh, of the software. So the cool thing about this is that, number one, you get to use a lot of really cool building tools in the software. You can also work with other people while you're connected. So while you're in Lunar World, you can actually be online with friends and other people that you want to uh, build with. So we can move around using the WASD keys, and we can use the space bar to go up move forward here with our directional pad. So you notice that this is a completely immersive 3D environment here. So if we look in the bottom left hand corner you'll notice that there is a chat pane. So anyone that's currently connected can see anything that I say and I can communicate with friends and other uh, users that are currently online. Here I can see a list of all the users currently active. and I can also join voice chat if I want to talk to people as well. Okay, so some other cool things that you can do here, you can see that I can actually create objects in this 3D environment. So here I've got a cube that I've just selected, and I can actually take this cube and insert it into this virtual world. So you can see if I click on the cube box in the left panel here, I've got several options I can choose from. I can insert cubes into this environment, cylinders, cones, spheres, etc. All I have to do is choose which one I want to use. And now I can select the materials that I want to use as well. And I have choices from wood, stone, and different solid colors. And you can see that I can also adjust the dimensions of this particular object as well. So I can turn that cube into a wall or into a platform. I can also adjust the position of the object that I've created so I can move it up, down, left, or right. And when I'm done, I can go ahead and create my object as you can see here. Alright, so now I've got a level surface, and what I can do now is I can actually uh, stack different objects on this surface. So if I want to stack different blocks to create a structure, I can use this surface to actually build things on top of this uh, stone surface here. So this is a really fun and interactive way to build 3D objects in this uh, really nice 3D environment. Okay, so you can see that I've got the green, blue, and red arrows there. Uh, and that's going to allow me to adjust the position of my object so I can finally tune uh, the position of my platform as well as the blocks that I'm putting onto the platform to build my structure. You can see here that I can keep stacking these blocks to create a full um, structure to whatever size I'd like. Now in addition there's a remove feature. If you look in the left panel I have the remove feature enabled and so that allows me to delete different items from my 3D environment. So if I want to delete a block to help build this particular structure, I can uh, anything that's highlighted red, I can delete. So I can delete the entire platform, or if I want, I can just delete individual blocks. Okay, so you can see here in Mesh Moon, I've got another person connected here, another user. So I'm able to chat with them with the chat pane in the bottom left-hand corner. And we can both move around this 3D environment, and we can uh, collaboratively build different objects using this build mode. Okay, so you can see here that I've got a simple sphere that we've just created. And using the 3D objects that we can create, using the build mode provided by Mesh Moon, we can actually take something as simple as a sphere and do more with it. We can actually create a character. So you can see here that with that simple sphere, I can also create eyes. So it's a great way to kind of be creative, and you can use our software to make any kind of object you want. So you can create completely custom and unique objects as well as characters in our build mode in Mesh Moon. So here we've created a custom 3D character using the tools provided in Mesh Moon. It's very simple and very easy to use, and you can see just how elaborate your creations can be. Alright, so this has been a quick look at Mesh Moon's new build mode called Lunar World. You can check it out by downloading the software from MeshMoon.com. Thanks so much for watching this video tutorial, and have a great day.